All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So in case you guys haven't heard, we are getting very, very close to the start of the sixth anniversary on Global, an event that I'm assuming most people have been looking forward to for quite some time. And as such, in today's video, I wanna present you guys with some extremely important dates that you should all be marking in your calendars right now. Or I guess people don't really use calendars anymore, so mark it in your phones, call up your assistants, whatever you do to keep track of important dates because this will help you a lot in just staying on top of all the craziness that's about to ensue over the next uh, couple of weeks to a month, all right? So yeah, with all that said, let's jump right into it. And the first thing I'll say is that just like last year with the fifth anniversary, the sixth anniversary will also be broken down into four different parts. We're starting with the countdown and then parts one, two, and three. So in terms of the countdown, believe it or not, that's actually starting tomorrow. I mean, of course, assuming you're watching this video the day it comes out on June 28th, the countdown is happening tomorrow on June 29th. And the reason I know this is because it does look like we are following the exact same schedule as the fifth anniversary last year. And if we go to the event details here on the Dokkan Wiki, the countdown to the fifth anniversary last year started on June 29th. So like I said, the countdown for this year to the sixth anniversary is also starting on June 29th tomorrow. And of course it's gonna last for seven days. Every single day we get a different countdown screen, you know, seven days left, six days left, five days left, so on and so forth. And of course there will be also a login bonus with some extra stones. Last year it was 10 stones and 35 extra tickets. Um, I believe for the sixth anniversary on JP, they also got the same thing. So yeah, 10 dragon stones and 35 extra celebration tickets for the anniversary or for the countdown rather. So yeah, guys, countdown starting tomorrow. It's all happening very, very quickly. So make sure you're ready. And then uh, once the countdown's over, we jump right into the anniversary, starting with part one, which officially starts on July 6th. And we can confirm this by once again, going back to the global fifth anniversary details where part one started on July 6th at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So there you go. July 6th, definitely a very important date. You wanna have circled in your calendar. And from there, the next thing we gotta talk about is obviously when the Dual Dokkan Fest for the AGL LR Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku and the Int LR Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta drops because among a lot of other great things, that's definitely the main thing most people are excited for, at least as far as part one is concerned, right? And if you guys were around for any of the anniversaries in the past, you would probably know that the Dual Dokkan Fest doesn't actually come out on the same day as the start of the anniversary. So even though the anniversary is starting on July 6th, the Dual Dokkan Fest will not be available until approximately two days or so after that on July 8th or July 9th, depending on your time zone. And we can confirm this by taking a look at last year's anniversary where once again, the anniversary started on July 6th, but the Dual Dokkan Fest for the LR Blue Gogeta and LR Vegito Blue actually dropped on July 8th. And for my time zone, it was actually the morning of July 9th. And if we take a look at the release dates for both units here on the Dokkan Wiki, as you can see for Global, it was July 9th, 2020 for the Gogeta. And obviously the same thing for Vegito as well, July 9th, 2020. So obviously there could be some minor differences this year, but um, I can definitely confirm for you guys that the UI Goku and uh, SSB Vegeta will not be coming out on the same day as the start of the anniversary. They will be dropping uh, about two days after on July 8th slash July 9th, okay? So that pretty much covers the part one dates. Obviously there are a bunch of different things happening in part one that I don't wanna go into detail um, in this video just because that would make this video extremely, extremely long. Uh, we're gonna move on to part two now, which will be highlighted by a 
uh, top legendary summon banner featuring two brand new non Dokkan Fest LRs, namely the Int LR Android 17 slash Team Universe 7, and also the Fizz Android Golden Frieza and Android 17. And in terms of when part two is going to be starting, uh, this is where things get a little bit tricky because if we look at the dates for the fifth anniversary on global last year part two started on july let me see i believe it's july 19th so yeah there you go july 19th was part two so that's about 13 days after part one started right but if we go to the sixth anniversary on jp where part one started on the 29th and part two started on uh, February 9th. That's 11 days in between. So my question is, are they going to be fast tracking things on global this year as well, where part two starts, you know, 11 days after part one? Or is it going to be the exact same schedule as global had last year, where it's going to be 13 days? I'm not 100% sure about that. I guess the safe answer would be to say, you know, about two weeks after part one starts, part two will begin. Um, but if you guys want an exact date, I do think we're most likely going to be maintaining the same schedule as the fifth anniversary, which means that part two for the sixth anniversary will be starting on July 19th, 13 days after part one starts on July 6th. But once again, I can't say for sure. So there's a chance that maybe it's going to be July 17th or July 18th for the start of part two. And um, of course, you also want to know when the top legendary summon banner with the Android 17 and Golden Frieza is going to be coming out. And we have to actually wait a full week after part two starts to get that banner. So as you can see, last year part two started on the 19th and the legendary summon banner came out on the 26th. So a full week after part two started was when the banner dropped. And this is the exact same thing for the JP 6th anniversary. Part 2 started on the 9th and the top legendary summon banner came out on the 16th. Okay, so if we assume that we keep the same schedule as last year, then the Angel Golden Frieza and Android 17 top legendary summon banner will be coming out on the 26th. Or if they decide to follow the JP schedule where things are a little bit earlier then it could be either the 24th or the 25th depending on when part two actually starts hopefully i'm not confusing too many people out there with all these numbers i just want to make sure that all of my bases are covered so uh there you go that is part two and finally we have part three which last year started on uh july 30th all right, so that was about four days after the top legendary summer banner came out and about, you know, 11 days after part two started, July 30th. And once again, if we follow the JP schedule, it might be the 28th or the 29th. Like some of these dates might be one or two days off, but definitely no more than that. We just don't know exactly what their plan is for global this year. So I can't say for sure. All right, but uh, as far as part three is concerned, the main highlights would be the uh, LR Goku and Frieza Extreme Z Awakenings, along with the EZA for the LR Max Power Master Roshi. There aren't going to be any new units for part three, but I don't really think that's a huge deal because at this point, I think most people are probably already over their Dragonstone budget for the month, so Part 3 will give you a little bit of a break, or at least give your wallet a bit of a break. So there you go guys, all of the most important dates for the upcoming 6th anniversary. Make sure to cross those off or actually circle them on your calendars to make sure you guys don't miss them. And just to give you a quick summary here, the countdown is expected to start tomorrow on uh, June 29th and run until July 6th, which is when part one starts. And then the dual Dokkan Fest or the MUI Goku and SSB Vegeta is expected to start either on July 8th or July 9th. And then part two 
of the anniversary should be starting somewhere around July 19th. And then the top legendary summon banner with the two new non Dokkan Fest LRs should be dropping on July 26th. And finally, for the last part, part 3 of the 6th anniversary, that is expected on July 30th. Alright, so there you go guys, that is today's video. Um, hopefully some of you guys found this video helpful. I'm sorry if I couldn't give you like super precise dates because once again, we just don't know for sure yet. But guys, the 6th anniversary is almost here. We are basically a week away. There's going to be a lot of craziness on the global side. Obviously a lot of content on this channel. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys look forward to that. And as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.